Okay, Christine, um, Murphy Ranks is your husband, and uh, 22 of the 24 demands says, hold law enforcement accountable for impeding EMS response and the mishandling and delay of Damien Murphy Ranks Chambers case within the zone. Um, I, I, what, what is, what is this, what does accountability sound like really? Cause I, I know a lot of folks, you know, accountability looks or sounds different to them. Yeah. What is holding law enforcement accountable for impeding? For how EMS. they went about, um, at the night when it happened, I can't really go into much, yeah. too much detail into yes, yes, it yeah, because it's, it's, it's an open case yes. right now. They're yes. investigating it. Um, it was mishandled. Mishandled they did not do anything to collect any kind of evidence mm. the neighbors did uh they didn't block anything off mm -hmm. it was a guy that was at the barber shop that came by that heard and came over yeah. i was trying to get my husband into his truck to take him to yeah to the the emergency room yeah um no one was there to help him but emt finally showed up cops showed up things got um mishandle mm -hmm. they said the crowd was uh, a little rowdy which <laughs> they were not okay. according to the neighbors on the block i wasn't here i personally went home two hours later i was called and said your husband got shot yeah i, I mean i was here earlier everything was peaceful everyone yeah. was enjoying themselves until i got that phone call now you said you said earlier in this you said um the neighbors uh, retrieve some of the evidence or like they they came they to collected the, yes they collected so we also have security yeah. on the block yeah. that also collected some stuff mm -hmm. um they were they called the cops and asked you know would you guys like the stuff we collected it because you guys forgot wow. to collect wow the stuff yeah they came nothing was roped off nothing was collected they didn't ask any questions nothing mm -hmm. the only thing they went back and said was the crowd was hostile, so they had to get off the block, okay. which was not true. Um, but anyways, it's neither here nor there. Um, they collected, they called, asked them, would you guys like to meet us somewhere to collect these things? Because yeah. I know you're going to need it for evidence mm -hmm. to do your investigation. Did they say yes? The response was, don't know. The response was, according to the guy that called the cop and spoke with them, he said they told them, we don't care, throw it away. Wow. And they had, they kept it for two weeks. It's starting to rot and it smells. So they had to throw the stuff they collected wow. away. There was nowhere to store it. Okay. So. So the thing that, the thing that I think of right away is a community coming and collecting that, evidence. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming you and Murphy knew everybody around here, Oh right? yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, was, my, everybody know my mom, Miss G, yeah, Mama yeah, yeah. G on the block. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, we're here on the weekends because she live alone, so we mm -hmm. come in and check on her. She's a she, elder lady. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, and and what is it? How does that make you feel knowing that the community came to like collect evidence and is putting this in the demands? Like, mm -hmm. is that does, does that make you feel a certain way or <sighs> that I can trust them more than yeah. I can most cops? Yeah. No, I mean. Which I mean. <laughs> I shouldn't have to say that, but then again, I've lived here with my mom for over 25 years. Well, yeah. not with her, but we've been here for over 26 years. Yeah. And this the safest I've ever felt on this block since it's been blocked off. Okay. Cops are not allowed. Yeah. When they do come, it's with um, like a escort. Yeah. Someone yeah. invite them in. Otherwise, yeah. they're not allowed. So before all this took place and they were on the block the way they approach everybody on the block it was i don't know how to how to put it in words here it's 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 they make it seem like you know they were being the correct term I, I, does it feel like they're escalating the situation yes, when they show up? more than it really was yeah yeah yeah, yeah yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes yes they no, did i hear that so hear i'm like that. okay all we want is just for you guys to just do your job. Yeah, it's yeah. It's that th simple. Just do your job. Yeah, that's like that baseline. is a part of thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Exactly. So when I left, when I went to the hospital and came back, the car was still perpendicular into the neighbor's car. Yeah. I had to move it, sat on the blood that was sitting in the seat, yeah. move the car over, to, and it sat here for six weeks. Six they weeks? They didn't, let's see, June. They came and got it August 
17th, between 17th and 19th. So that's recent. They came and got the car. Yes. Wow. He was, he got killed June 19th. And they didn't take the car for two months. Until, yeah. Almost. It sat here for that long. Yeah. Okay. And so this street in, 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 in your wishes should not be opened up until that inv investigation it's complete. is complete. Yeah. And, and law enforcement is held accountable for impeding yep. EMS response yep. and, and the mishandling and delay of, mm -hmm. of Murphy Lynx's uh, death. Well, thank you for educating us on it. And I know that for you, you know, in, in working in these situations often, it takes a lot of spirit. It takes a lot of spirit. And I, I just appreciate you taking the time, energy, oh, and spirit no to talk problem. to us. So uh, have a, a great rest of your day, and thank you so much. Yeah, you too. Thank you. No problem.